Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Um, after all the requests on Facebook, uh, emails, comments, I thought I'd share the recipe you guys have been asking for. And here we go, uh, boss up shot. Um, five cups of flour, about three tablespoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and in total about three cups of water, but I'd start off with about two cups at first and knead it into one big uh, dough ball. And here it is. Uh, allow that to rest for about 15 minutes or so. And then we're going to work it even further to form um, the necessary dough balls for making six rotis. Um, and that's what you'll be seeing in front of you here. That's basically all we've done is broken it up into six smaller individual sizes. In this video here, I'll go through the step of um, preparing that dough to uh, which gives it the uh, sort of flaky uh, layers sort of texture that uh, we get from bus up shot roti and all we're doing is uh, on a dusted surface here uh, flour dusted surface we're rolling it out to form a, a circle I guess the size of the pot the tower you're gonna be using and in this case I think it's anywhere from 12 to 14 inches in diameter and <clears throat> after which I'm not sure if you can see on the left side there or not but you see there's a bowl there and that has about five tablespoons of vegetable oil as well as one tablespoon of margarine which has been mixed together now using a knife you cut from the outside all the way down to the center um, and separate it a bit then you're gonna use some of that oil margarine mixture and paste it all over the top of the roti. Now this is what gives it that, the step that we're doing here gives it that sort of a flaky, silky texture as well as the different layers you'll see once the uh, roti is completed. Um, what you're doing now is you're gonna roll this um, as fairly tight as you can into a sort of a log and um, that is where the layers come, comes from. Um, after you've rolled it, um, the ends uh, squeeze on it to sort of seal it so it doesn't um, so it forms a, a complete uh, log then you press in the bottom with your fingers as, as we're, you're seeing in the picture in the video here and then put it down and then what you do is you do the same thing on the other side so you press down on it as well to form a dough and you do that for the remaining five uh, individual dough balls that we uh, created earlier um, allow that to rest for about at least one hour. Perfect scenario, five or four hours. Then you, you'll need a brush to brush some of that oil margin mixture that uh, we made, as well as on a high to me a medium to high heat, you'll put your towel to heat. Then you brush some of that oil mixture onto it. Um, the next step is to roll out each dough ball again. Uh, this time is for uh, this is the final step of rolling actually. And in the pictures here, all that you can see, it, uh, we're rolling it all out, and then we're gonna put it onto the that hot oiled surface, the tower, to allow it to cook. Um, it'll probably take about anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds per side. And then uh, what you do is, before you flip it over, you brush it with some of that oil mixture. You allow it to cook for about 10, 15 seconds. You flip it back over, and you brush it again with the oil um, mixture. Allow um, do that for a couple times, flipping it over a couple times until you start seeing some little golden brown specks, which means the roti is fully cooked. Then, using two wooden spatulas, what you're going to do is crush the roti from side to side, and pretty much you're beating it. So this is where the the bus up shot comes from. You're beating it to form that sort of uh, to get those layers that we created when we rolled into that log earlier. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to repeat the same steps for for each of the uh, the other five that you have but fairly simple don't you think so there you go guys um, bus up shot roti um, it doesn't get much easier than this hope you guys enjoy the recipe and check out the website caribbeanpot.com I'll have the full recipe including all the ingredients everything you'll need for this wonderful recipe have a great day guys